In July, Kia introduced a refreshed version of the Sorento in South Korea, with a completely redesigned front fascia and updated interior. At the time, we expected the revised model to hit the North American market for the 2024 model year, but it turns out we'll have to wait at least another year. Kia just introduced the 2024 Sorento for the United States, and it's essentially the pre-facelift version of the family vehicle. The South Korean automaker admits there are few changes for the new model year. Oddly, some official press photos of the 2024 Sorento show a track red example of the SUV, but that color is no longer available for the Sorento Hybrid or PHEV. The new gravity blue color replaces the red color, along with a navy blue interior that includes special perforated leather for the seats and a hint of blue on the steering wheel. Additionally, models previously equipped with a black headliner are now equipped with a new gray headliner. There is zero change on the technology front. The Sorento Hybrid continues to be powered by a 1.6-liter direct-injection gas engine backed by an electric motor for a system output of 227 horsepower and 258 pound-feet of torque. The entry-level Sorento EX FWD model starts at $38,015 including destination, making it $130 more expensive than last year. The plug-in hybrid version of the 2024 Sorento has a 1.6-liter turbo for engine and a more powerful electric motor. The system produces 261 horsepower and 258 pound-feet of torque, transmitted to all four wheels through a six-speed automatic transmission. The starting price for the new model year is $51,315, which is $130 more than last year. However, there is no change in standard equipment. New T-shaped headlights have been added to the updated Sorento, which is expected to be introduced in the United States next year, along with the daytime running light strip next to the brand logo. This badge no longer rests on the grille as it has been repositioned at the bottom of the hood. The grille itself got a new pattern and the lower grille was also redesigned. Inside the cabin, there's now a larger screen for the infotainment system and a few other minor revisions.